seems like it's reciprocated. So. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how I maintain sanity. How about G over F of one third? What does this mean? Right, G of one third divided by F of one third. Now, I could almost let you cheat and plug this into your graphing calculator to come up with the values. You know how to do that, right? No? You don't know how to store anymore? Oh, yeah. Here, look, I'm going to be nice to you. You know that you can take the value of one third, store that into x, right? So if I do the, if I do g, so that's 10 minus 4x. So it's not, calculus is looking at CX, it's going to see one third. What, uh, that, what, what in the world does that mean? It means what? Eight and two thirds. Let's go ahead and convert that to a fraction. 26 thirds. Now, I trust. It's just figure out the math. It is, but I'm trying to save us some time. If I were to do F of one third. Say again? So if I type in 3x squared minus 7x plus 2, what does that give me? Zero. Gives me zero. So it means f of 1 third is zero. So what do I say here? Just 26 thirds? No. What do you mean, no? Right, this expression will be undefined. You're not going to divide by zero? You hear me, son? Sorry if you had your earphones in on that one. That was probably really loud. Someone's going to what? <coughs> yes, th these videos are all made for people that like to watch me in bed. Aren't they all? This falls under the category of you just had to be there. What if I write <laughs> what if I write f of g of two? Remember this is how we read it? F of g of two. Some people say fog. I don't do that. We're going to say f of g of two. What does that mean? Do the g first, right? And then and, and interject that answer from g into f. There's the baby cockroach. Okay, then kill it. If you do turducken, right? You know how turducken is formed, right? Chicken inside the duck inside of the turkey. So that's how you stuff accordingly. That means I'm going to plug the 2 into my G first. Well, if I look up here, here's my G. If I plug in 2, we should be able to look at that and tell me that I get what? Two. I get 2, so that means I have F of 2. And let me emphasize here that the reason that is is because G of 2 evaluated to give you 2. Now, do I stop here? No. What is f of two? Zero. F of two. Don't don't play with me. F of two is zero. It's zero. The whole thing is zero. If I plug two into my function, of course, I can come back here and do it very easily on the graphing calculator. So I've got to store two into x. I can do second entry to get back to 3x squared plus 7x plus 2, or minus 7x plus 2, and I get, I get 0? I guess I should have trusted you. Dang, you scream that. I always scream. That's cool. it makes you, feel you have to understand that, <laughs> although I sound like a very husky guy on the, the video, you probably imagine me to be some six foot five, three hundred twenty pound behemoth. I'm actually just a little bit smaller than that. Don't take away my victory. What if I ask you to evaluate G of F of two? Do you think that's going to equal zero? I mean, F of G of two gave me zero, but is G of F of two the same thing? 
No, it's it's stuffing things a little bit differently. That means you go g of f of 2. Right, but you plug 2 into f and you got 0 last time, so you get 0 plugged into g, g times 4 minus So we can remember what we've already done. So f of 2 we found up here was 0, and then g of 0, if you remember your g, let's come back up here. g is 10 minus 4x. If I plug in 0 for x, I get... Is that positive? Positive 10. I get positive 10. Now later on we're going to see functions that if I plug uh, whatever number I plug in, I get the exact same number out. It doesn't matter if I do g of f or f of g. Whatever number I plug in, I get the same number back out when I do the composition. And those are called inverse functions. Kind of fun to work with. Okay, let's do one more, just for grins. If I ask you to evaluate g of g of negative 7 halves, what does that mean to us? Right, so I plug negative 7 halves into g, and I take that result, and I go into, in this case, g again. If I look at this guy, what is g of negative 7 halves? Remember that g was defined to be 10 minus 4x, so it's 10 minus negative 7 halves. So it's going to be 10 plus what? What's 28 halves? 28 halves is 14. Wouldn't that be really annoying if you started doing your age like that? How old are you? Well, today is my birthday. I turned 38 halves. Why don't you just say 19? So this gives you, say again? So I get 24. So all of this guy right here gives me 24. So now I plug the 24 into G. What's G of 24? Negative gives you negative 86 because if you do the work, that's 10 minus 4 times 24. So 10 minus 96 is equal to negative 86.